Okay, now let's talk about application pools. You'll often hear application pools also referred to as worker processes, and this is because this is where the work actually happens in IIS. This is where your code's running. So right now I have two application pools, one for each site. Starting in IIS 7, when you create a new site, it creates an application pool with the exact same name. So by default, you're gonna get this one site per application pool configuration, which is generally what we want. So if we double click an application pool, we'll get the basic settings. So the, the two main settings we start off with is which version of the .NET framework are we gonna run? So we can see we can choose between version four, version two, or no managed code and then which, which mode the pipeline is gonna run in. So we can choose between integrated and classic. Now there's a ton of information out there about the differences between integrated and classic. For our purposes here, uh, go with integrated if you can. If integrated fails in some type of migration from IIS, IIS 6 to IIS 7, if your site fails in integrated mode, use classic. And then do some research on why it's failing and then try to work through those issues and, and, and get yourself back to integrated mode. Um, this is highly simplified, but basically the difference is, is an integrated mode, uh, the ASP.NET runtime, along with a bunch of other stuff, is part of the pipeline. It, it's, it's all a continuous process, whereas in classic mode, um, things are bolted onto the side of IIS. So when a request comes in, it goes into IIS and then gets handed off to the ASP.NET runtime and then gets handed back to IIS. Whereas in integrated mode, it's much more of a, a fluid, continuous stream. So you get better performance, you get better reliability, you get, a, you get a bunch of benefits from going with integrated mode. But again, if you know, go with integrated if you can. Um, if it fails for some reason, go to classic and then work your way back to integrated once you figure out what the issues are. Um, I've migrated some really old sites running classic ASP and, and they work just fine and integrated. So generally speaking, you're gonna be just fine.